It's the Poorly Thought Out Talk Show with Doug Dreesel Jr. So, uh, yeah, let's get more plugs out of the way. What, uh, so, the Punk House. Yes. Five years? Uh, six years this July. Mm, nice, nice. Wait, this July? Yeah. Hey, crap. And so your birthday's coming up then, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Right. What'd you get me? What'd you get me? <laughs> it's, it's, it's here somewhere. <laughs> it's somewhere. Yeah. I'm sure I'll get you a uh, shoebox full of things I find at flea markets again. Oh, yeah, yeah, Because I'm sure you used everything that I sent you. Uh huh. I saw the uh, I saw the TGI Fridays cards on Asterios's uh, Facebook wall. TGI uh, Fridays sure cards. Uh, I sent like a like a bulky Batamos uh, and uh, I said TGI Fridays. It's just TGIF. Sorry. Uh, it's not the the. I put some uh, trading cards in there and the uh, Ninja Turtles. Uh, yeah, I had the, yeah, the Ninja Turtle ones, and those are on my wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the Ninja Turtle ones I got you while we were on tour. Um, but I gave you the... Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm not... But no, that means the series took him, because I don't remember giving him anything. No, I... I don't... See, now this is awkward for my talk show, yeah. because I, I don't mean that he took them. I mean he took pictures of them and put him on his Facebook wall. Oh. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, my apologies if okay. I made it sound like I thought that you had given them to a stereos. <laughs> I wasn't being passive aggressively <laughs> weird. I was just saying, I, yeah. <laughs> See, the trick is, is that I'm often passive aggressively weird. But this is not being one of those instances. <laughs> this is just an instance where I'm like, yeah, it's just something I saw. Yeah. Trying to keep the conversation going. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Stopped it dead into a halt. Oh no no no! We're still going. We're still going. Yeah, yeah we're All still right. chugging along. All right. Yeah. Hey. Whee. Um. So, uh, what is your favorite? You are a fan of lawn music. What exactly um, is um, your um, punk rock and roll to the to, yeah, <laughs> to the yeah. people that aren't in the know? Yeah, uh, yeah. I, uh, I I've been a, a big fan since uh, late junior high, early high school. Um, I, uh, I I went to go see Hot Water Music. <laughs> okay. At Pomona with uh, ninety eight point seven Jake Dills. Ooh, that was recently then. Yes. Yeah, last Saturday. Last Saturday. Okay. Yeah. You went and saw something with um, um, Bowser and Open Barnett the other night, right? Oh, no, no, no. Um, Alex Mazrobian. Oh, Alex. We went to go yeah. see Broadway Calls and Dead to Me. Oh, right. At uh, this place called the Blue Star in uh, downtown, very much in the industrial area. Like Okay. Uh, uh, we, we got there, and um, they're like, cash only. And then I was like, oh, where's, where's, the, where's the, they're an ATM? She's like, oh, there's a gas station down the street, make a left. I was like, walking distance? She was like, you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't like it, uh, like, because of distance. Because of Morlocks. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's so what works in the shadows. <laughs> the people under the stairs. Yeah. And then we looked at each other, we're like, what? And then when we turned back, she was gone. <laughs> so then we walked. And the building had been closed for years. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what is your favorite punk band that you know personally? That, not, that I know personally? Well, that you've met. I wouldn't say no, but that, you, that you've that you met and talked to socially. Um, <laughs> what to say? Uh, uh, my friend's band. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, back in Salinas, there's a band called Madtown Mulligans, which are okay. great. And then down here, there is Tardic Control. Yeah, um, okay. With uh, Sean Robert and counts. Robot. Yeah, yeah, Sean Robert and Robot. Those guys are awesome. Um... <laughs> Uh, buy their age. album and stickers and buttons and their website. I think you can buy their website. Give to their Kickstarter. Yeah. yeah uh, no, that's done now. Uh, but I'm sure they'll take more money. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. They've got t-shirts. Their t-shirts are pretty awesome. You can see. I saw. I, I have run into Tess Barker uh, three times uh, in the past two months, and she's uh, two of those times had a, a Tartar Control shirt. Well, she's do we're all doing our part. We're, we're doing our well. part. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I uh, one of one of the times I met her, I had a stack of albums because it was at the ArcLight parking lot, and I was uh, worried because I had to look down to make sure that my Van Morrison record was on top and not my Minute Work record that I had just bought. Now, why? Because, oh, wait. No, why were you scared about one being on top? Just well, one's Minute Work and one's Van Morrison. You know, and I mean. It's just it, your friends seeing you with... I, I mean, it's one thing knowing I own it. It's the other thing seeing me right after I purchased it. <laughs> it's a, Wait, so which one were you embarrassed of? Uh, the, the men at work. 
Which, really? Because I would be I'm the not, one... I'm not super... I'm not, like, embarrassed. I love owning it. It's just one of those things where it's like... She, well, and it doesn't help that she's super cool. Like, yeah. I, and I'm not cool at all. So it's still... Yeah, like, cool maybe that's in high school. Well, yes. I'm cool in my own very lame way. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. I'm very Huey lewis in my coolness. Uh, you're also tied to the guy that... My first cassette that I memorized front to finish was Huey Lewis in the New Sports. Okay, fair, fair. <laughs> Which, uh, is there. Actually, on not a cassette though. No, but it's funny because I would be more, I would be more proud of the. More proud of the. I'd be more proud of the Men at Work. Yeah. Than I would be the Van Morrison. Okay, fair enough. But it was Moon Dance for a dollar. I, well, I'm not saying you shouldn't be embarrassed by anything because yeah, if I'm not. I'm not embarrassed. Okay, I. Because <laughs> yeah, people not embarrassed. Because people buy a bunch of LPs just for the art. Or well, that's like that. true. That's true. So you could have. That's true. You know, um, it what was, would be uh, what would be the equivalent of a Nickelback of uh, of that time. Uh, um, Nickelback of that time it was the Nickelback of its time. I no, think. I'm saying Nickelback yeah. of like the '80s. Yeah. So that would be um, something like Rick Astley, maybe. And that was really popular at. It was back. super. Well, so was Nickelback. You know, even though it was awful. Although <laughs> I do love. To be fair. Uh, I don't care about Rick rolling. Uh, I am a huge fan of Never Gonna Give You Up. That's amazing. Anyway, I wanted to show you that. That's one of my prized possessions. The single. Cuss single. Yeah, my, my sister had this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I definitely put my, my, my wear and tear on it. <laughs> fair enough. Oh, uh, for the audience at home. Too bad you don't have the, the cardboard sleeve. I know, right? I know. Uh, I still somewhere have um, Funky Cole Medina single with the sleeve on it. So, or no, wild thing. My yeah. apologies, not Funky Cole Medina. I don't know where Josh Fadum was, but he was tweeting recently uh, pictures, and he was uh, it was he was holding the long CD cardboard boxes of like like NWA. And oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, and all yeah. that stuff. I was just like, oh yeah, I remember when we were into that much waste. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to make it harder to steal CDs, but which at the time they were, they, you know, they were selling it for like twenty bucks, you know, at Musicland and Sam Goody. See, that's so that's so, before my time. I don't know. Tell me, tell yeah. me more stories, Grandpa. <laughs> well, my day, yeah. <laughs> uh, so they were really expensive, uh, but so. <laughs> what was, was your first CD? My first CD, I would have to say the Ramones, everything, and more. Okay. And then my second one was the Melvins because... Uh, and this is CD, not like albums. Or, this or compact disc. Yeah, 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 compact disc, yeah. Yeah, because I didn't get a CD player until 93. Okay, that's only a little bit before when I got mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mine was a, uh, mine was a uh, Christmas comedy classics, which contained <laughs> uh, Weird Al's Christmas at Ground Zero uh, and Bob and Doug McKenzie's 12 Days of Christmas. Wait a minute. This is a Weird Al's Christmas at Ground Zero. Yeah, but it was not. Uh, oh, it was a foretelling of the nine eleven. Foretelling tragedy. of the nine eleven tragedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, it was where all the elves go, <laughs> and they uh, and they have. Yeah. Uh, no, it was the song about. Uh, oh wait. No, that's right. No, that's right. The night Santa went crazy was on. Moo. Yeah, moo.